and welcome back to another reaction in this occasion, Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer episode 23. Yeah, it's been a, such a long time since I reacted to this series. The last episode that you saw, the episode 22, was recorded a long time ago, but unfortunately I did not have uh, time to edit such episode up until uh, relatively recently. Um, but yes, I now starting to record again, and hopefully we are not going to encounter any more problems that we have seen before. Uh, but yes, it has been a pain in the ass to be in record, to be able to record all the necessary things for the week. I still not even uh, catch up to 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 Avatar because yeah, it's been a hectic week and I'm being kind of tired and I'm still relaxing but no I am officially on vacation so yes I will have more time to record more time to edit and more time to relax so yes uh, that is a good thing hopefully this week is going to be the last week in a long time with only three episodes and hopefully I'm going to be able to give you an episode every single day of the week. I still made no promise but every time because every time I do that uh, I end up not fulfilling said promises so yeah that is why I'm not saying oh yeah this is guaranteed no but I will try my hardest. Uh, last week was uh, an anomaly it wasn't really something I could predict or control I was ready to record, but uh, certain news uh, caused uh, something weird within my uh, within my own personality. It was harsh, uh, but luckily this week we have been receiving better news, and yeah, it it has the situation has been improving, and uh, and that is why I am able to record again. Hopefully, the situation will continue to improve, uh, and everything will turn out well. Perhaps you can deduce what is going on. Uh, I don't want to say it out loud because honestly that is more of a private. But I still want to offer you an explanation as to why has been kind of hectic right now. Um, but anyway, yes, moving forward to what we really want to see. Which is obviously a new episode. And in this case, I still hate that white uh, hair bastard because of the way he has been mistreating uh, poor Nezuko and poor Tanjiro but I want to see if there is a reasoning behind because yes last episode I said I hate this bastard but usually when I do that the next episode or the next couple of episodes change my mind because yeah they show me something different that I did not uh, previously no and make me feel bad for that so hopefully that is going to be the case because so far I still hate this asshole anyway moving on Let's cut the presentation short, let me just quickly remind you that if you enjoy the content of the channel, please consider a subscription and turn on notifications so you can get up to date with whatever we are doing with the channel. If you enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment so, no, uh, so I know what you think about my reaction, the episode or the commentary. Remember that in the description you can find the links to my Twitter if you want to follow me is there to the reaction because YouTube doesn't like reactions and to my Patreon in case you want to see the full uncut reaction to this and many more episodes. Anyway, enough about all of this, let's cut the presentation short and watch the episode, shall we? back I just watched a second time the 23rd episode of the series and there is not much for me to say and yes I know that sometimes when I start to say this I end up speaking for about 10 or 15 minutes eh, about so not so much about to say about this episode but I actually think this is real because again this is obviously a continuation of the last two episodes in which eh, the the Hashidas are discovered well knew that uh, Tanjiro was accompanied or was accompanied by uh, by a demon in this case uh, his sister and uh, they didn't like that and they took precautions and even take it to the boss to the master of the uh, demon slayer corpse uh, we got the conflict that uh, perhaps she has an attack she has attack and obviously they are outside fighting against demons and they know how terrible they are uh, and that is why they took such a harsh notion to the fact that Tanjiro is with a demon. They don't see they don't see Nezuko as a character. They don't see Nezuko as a human anymore. They just see her as a demon. 
And as in the last uh, and the last time we talk about this, I understand that behavior. In my mind, I understand why they behave like this. I understand the reasoning for them to be treating Nezuko as they treat her in the last few episodes. I understand that because they haven't encountered a single demon that is not go for the killing, go for to devour humans. Until this moment. And Tanjiro has encountered other two. Tanjiro is uh, he has been encountered not just Nezuko, which obviously is the first one, but other two. But uh, differently from uh, from Nezuko, Nezuko only needs to sleep instead of uh, eating uh, blood or drinking blood or eating flesh or I don't know exactly. And that's the difference there, because even those two who want uh, to defeat Musan, they wanted to defeat Musan, they didn't, they still needed to eat blood, they kind of devoured humans, but obviously they did it in a more ethical way, let's say, they did not go and attack uh, any humans and they just destroy and attack, etc, etc, no, it was different for them. And this is a point in which, yes, Obviously, we know, we as an audience know that there are demons that are not as terrible as, uh, well, but as, as the Demon Slayer uh, think they all are. And that is why my hatred towards that asshole, because I am not going to say his fucking name. I have it in my fucking notes. And I still refuse to say his fucking name. The asshole just attacked Nezuko. And yes, I understand, we have the perspective of the audience, we have the perspective, the advantage that we know Nezuko, that we haven't seen her journey to. It's not obviously as prevalent as uh, Tanjiro's uh, journey, but it's still there, it's still part of her journey. And yes, that's the point. We know Nezuko. We know how much she is really capable of, how much she has been helping uh, the Demon Corp, the Demon Slayer Corpse, and how much she has been attacking the other demons. So yes, we know that, we have that advantage as the audience, they don't, but it still doesn't change the fact that I still hate that asshole for what he did to Nezuko. In the end, that is the way I think. I still think that he is an asshole because I have the privilege of more information on, like, him. So, there. That's how I feel, and that is how I will feel probably forever. I don't know, perhaps the next episode is going to give me a sob story about him and I'm going to change my mind. Because that has happened with Demon so far. Uh, so, yeah, perhaps that is the case, perhaps it's not. I have no clue what is going to happen. In the next few episodes. But yeah, it's it again this episode just was the the culmination of the last two. We now have the conclusion of said two episodes. And now we know that uh, Nezuko is safe, Tanjiro is safe, uh, Inosuke is safe, and obviously Zenitsu is safe. All of them are safe. They are not perfectly well. That is obvious for what happened to both of them. I mean, it will be too much for them just to be this fine in such a short amount of time because I guess it's not even hours, well, perhaps hours after they were rescued and they have to wait for until day so they can have this meeting and all this resolution. But perhaps we're a few minutes, about tops, an hour, tops. So yeah, it's not that much of a time. And I like the title of the next episode. Because yes, they are going to give them time to give, to be better, to to really recover from their wounds and all the terrible things that happened to them in that mountain. Because yes, that arc was a fantastic showing of action, but with a lot of consequences, and we are seeing said consequences. Which is, again, something that I like about this anime, that they are showing consequences of the actions of our heroes. Even if those were good actions, we still see the consequences of said battles, because most of the time, you just go ahead and don't see anything. You have, like, one episode or two, 
and that's it. And we have, uh, well, yes, I, I mean, one episode or two in long series, very long series, like Dragon Ball Z or something like that. But in this one, we got two, and it's a relatively short series. And we not only got that, we got the preparation. And hell, I think we have more than just two. I think we still have the beginning, and he has to recover. Uh, the the culmination the happiness when they celebrate and all of those aspects i think that's that's something i like about the series that they are showing not only the cool battles which is honestly freaking awesome and we saw one of the coolest fucking fights ever i mean yes it's it's, it's freaking spectacular uh, but it's still it's just that it's, it's 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 amazing to see something like this but I like the other aspect. I like the aspect, of, yes, they need to recover, they need to do something else, they need time. Time. Because again, obviously they cannot show you every single day, every single hour, every single minute, because that will be incredibly boring to see. But it's still, this series managed to show, to show us the training, to show us what it was needed to achieve their goal, achieve Tanjiro's goal. And that he hasn't achieved yet, and that he still needs more training. Because yes, I guess the lower moons and the higher moons are different. The lower moons are the weakest of those 12, and the higher moons are the six more powerful ones. And Tanjiro could not defeat, in the end, a lower moon. Yeah, he held his ground, he was amazing, and he was very close to kill one of the 12 moons, but in the end it was needed uh, a Hashira to do so. Um, I like that. I know I, I said that there is an orthodox that the protagonist is not overpowered from the beginning. I like that. I like that they are taking the time that yes, he needs training, he needs to improve. It's not going to be that easy. And I like that. I enjoy to see that. I like it. Anyway, yeah, moving on to the last part, which is honestly going to be very, very short, because it's just kind of the uh, presentation of another character, which is obviously Kanai Tsuyuri, and yes, I am reading my notes, uh, which is obviously uh, Tsuguko, which I understand is kind of the, the disciple of one of the Hashiras. Uh, in this case, I guess for the ornament in her hair is obviously from uh, Kocho, uh, the butterfly girl. Uh, so yes, I guess. I don't know what is her deal, why she doesn't speak, why we only see her smile. It's kind of weird, but I guess we're going to figure that out in the near future because they are staying in that same house. So it's uh, recovering. It's kind of funny to see him again. And Inosuke is, uh, well, quiet, which is odd to see. Now, the last point, uh, the last point I want to speak about, uh, the master, I don't know what's with him. I said that perhaps he's a demon for the feeling that Tanjiro has in his presence. It's obviously not natural, it's something else, it's something weird, which is something I do not understand. What is going on with him? Is he a demon just like... Uh, Lady Tomayo, I think it was the other, uh, the other demon that is a good demon, uh, and that is why he knew, or it was in contact with her. I don't know. I honestly have no clue who or what he is. If he's a demon, because I don't remember if he was out in the light. I don't recall that. I don't think so. He was always in the shadow of the building. Or perhaps he's already... I have no clue. Or perhaps the point in which the light enters the body of the demon is thanks to the side and the eyes and that's why he blind himself. I don't know, man. Again, those are theories based on what I observed and that's to justify why I call him a demon. Because it's weird and it's emphasized in the show so that means it has something to do with... Something important is going on in here. That is why it was mentioned, because if it wasn't all important, I don't think it was mentioned. I don't think they are bad storytellers in this case, or they don't mention stuff that it doesn't make any sense. So that is why. Perhaps, I don't know. Uh, perhaps it's... it's 
I, I still don't know why, what is going on with that master and I want to figure it out and hopefully the, the few next episodes are going to give me some clues but something that I am certain is that he hates uh, Musan I don't know why but he hates Musan so I am intrigued to see what is going on anyway as I said before this was a short one relatively speaking uh, I hope you enjoy it and let me just quickly remind you that if you enjoy the content of the channel, please consider a subscription and to notifications. If you enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Uh, remember that in the description you can find my Twitter if you want to follow me to share news of the channel. Uh, it's there. It is the link for the reaction because YouTube doesn't like reaction. And there is a link for my Patreon in case you want to see this and many more episodes in his full length. Anyway, as I said before, I hope you enjoy it, and I have nothing else to say, but thank you for your attention, and well, see you in the next one. Bye! Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, give it a like, so the algorithm from YouTube will help me out. And check my other videos, share them, and also, why not subscribe to my channel, and join this community. And as always, I want to thank you for your attention, your likes, and even your dislikes. Your comments, which is something I always look forward to read, and yeah, once more, thanks and see you on the next one.